these are all the tools which we will be using for uh, installation of uh, seal rings for puncture valves and you can see there are different kind of uh, tools all you call it as uh, special tools which is particularly supplied by the supplier engine maker actually so this is the puncture valve so i will show you how to dismantle the puncture valve first so initially what we need to do is you have to inspect outside just to check uh, all is okay so now we are going to dismantle the puncture valve first uh, what you need to do is you can keep it in the vise instead of uh, keeping in hand it will be far better it will be in vice so I kept it in vice and all you need to do is you have to unscrew the bolt so once it is done you can take it out so after removing it it will be a little hard to take this out because inside there will be a o-ring so this is the o-ring so that's why it is very harder so after removing the unit this is called the housing unit and uh, you can see this is the piston the air piston which is inside yeah so yeah we removed it so next all we need to do is we have to take out the air piston so what i do is uh, remove the top uh, plug this is what you call the plug and next you next you comes uh, you get out this uh, you can take it out the puncture valve means the air piston of the puncture valve so these are all the spares two housings will be there one is a plug and the center is a spring and air piston two screws so these are all the spares that we have to remove it out so next thing is all you have to clean it properly in clean diesel oil once it is cleaned you have to remove all the seal ring o-ring everything all old thing you have to remove it out and you can use air to blow if there is any dirt accumulated inside it so after completion of this now it is time to install the seal ring so this is the seal ring so always make sure you are uh, using proper uh, owner means maker uh, specified uh, spares you call it as OEM spares original equipment maker spares so here you need to fit o-rings and seal rings so for fit up the o-rings this is the first installation tool <coughs> We have two different types of installation tool. One is for the top crew, the another is for the bottom crew. So as I always use, I use the Vaseline for installation and you just keep the tool like this and fix the o-ring on top of it. Apply a little Vaseline so that it helps the o-ring to move faster. So two o-rings will be there and the o-ring will be pushed with the help of pushing tool this is the tool which pushes the o-ring you can see the o-ring has properly placed in place and next comes the main is the seal ring the same way you have to fit back and you have to be very careful while installing the seal ring because sometime it get broken so okay again the same way use the installing tool yeah in place and next pushing tool insert the seal and then push the seal towards the groove slowly and the seal will sit over the pouring that's all the same way you have to fix the top groove also and again for that you have to use a different uh, tool and this is the one okay that's all in the same way apply some vaseline use both the o-rings pushing tool and push 
but only thing is you have to use the proper tool as i always say there are two different uh, size type of uh, pushing tool means installing tool for this puncture wall air piston so next comes the seal ring seal ring be very careful so apply vaseline same way fit the seal ring and push with the help of pushing tool so once this is done next you have to use change the top uh, head sealing air piston the top seal so this is your compression tool so compression tool basically it keeps the seal ring and o ring compressed and you keep it for 2 uh, 3 minutes so that uh, it will get compressed within the groove so next uh, i'll be fixing the top seal ring which is for the piston top so again same way but different tool so use the vaseline use the installation tool use the pushing tool and it also have the compression tool so all these three tools or should be available for fixing the seal rings see the conical will be a installing tool the one with the spring will be the pushing tool and the other will be the compression tool okay so i am pushing it inside be very careful and very slowly push it push it inside okay it's in place now and next comes the seal ring okay so again the seal ring should be installed very very precisely because uh, sometime it get broken or damaged while installing okay in place now and with the help of the pushing tool just push it be careful when holding the air piston because uh, since it is very small it should be handled a little carefully push it and see or pushing then yeah okay the seal ring is in place you have to ensure it is in place properly so i can you can see both the three seal rings are in place and finally i will use the compression tool to keep it compressed this is for the top piston compression tool and another will be for the spindle one and the next yeah it is here so this to keep it like this it is what you call it as compression tool keep it some 5 minutes the seal ring and o ring will be sealed in place okay so after i removed you can see the seal ring will be inside the groove so that it will be easy for installation during assembly okay so next this is done now next we have to open the housing this is the housing just clean the housing properly blow air ensure no dirt inside because uh, this is where the air piston travels so it should be very clean of any kind of dirt oil or any carbon okay so for this you have to fix a o ring this is the top plug top cover you can see again there will be a o ring for it this is the another housing which houses in which get mounted over the top cover of fuel pump okay all are clean just ensure anything any dirt use a very nice emery paper remove all dirt yeah that is what i am doing now a little oil dirt is there so i am removing all those with the help of mild emery and after that yeah i blow air yeah so i'm done with this so now it is time to fix the o ring 
so you can see very easily you can see the drawing and fix the spares in place so whatever spare just check cross check with the spares number and you can fix it directly main thing is you have to identify which part number with comparing with your component so this is the o-ring o-ring is done so next will be one more o-ring for the top cover where is the top cover just fit some give some lubrication okay next 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 both the housings on the top cover okay all I apply is the in Vaseline so that uh, it will function it acts like a lubrication for the puncture valve while installation so the top cover o-ring I am installing now mm, okay done 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 okay done install the o-ring in place after installation yes now very slowly press the housing yeah it is in place now and next you have to place the air piston air should it should be placed very very precisely because sometimes the seal ring will get broken if you are not properly fitting okay so this is the uh, spring ensure it is clean ensure check for any possible damages okay that's all it is good so next comes the air piston for the unit it's inside and finally comes the top cover we we'll call it as plug and next will be your just uh, ensure you are not damaging the o-ring okay now it's uh, time to fix the screw bolt do some copper slip and uh, you can tighten it yeah we are almost done okay tighten 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 okay so this is how uh, you have to dismantle inspect clean and change the seal and assemble back a puncture valve of a man pnw 8s 42 mc minus c main engine so we are done with the job then next we need to do is you have to check the puncture valve whether it is working or not so how we are going to check it so all we need to do is you have to fix a air nipple on top of the puncture valve and give some air supply to the puncture valve and cut off the air supply it have to move up and down that is what you have to check so when i give the air supply you can see from bottom the other end the movement of air piston you can see yeah, yeah. you can see the air piston is moving so basically if it opens close properly that means the action of air piston is happening properly okay that's all see you guys